Welcome to today's video. In this setup, we have an Active Directory servers with two users, user 1 and user 2. Both users have permission to use the remote desktop service. Today, I'm attempting to take three remote desktop sessions to GTO Server 1. By default, Windows only allows two parallel sessions. In this video, I'll show you how to access more than two RDP sessions on a Windows Server concurrently. First, I log into GTO Server 1, where you can see that both the administrator and user 1 have accessed this server and are in an active state. Next, I will go to my management server and attempt to take an RDP session to GTO Server 1 using the User 2 account. As you can see, there are already two active users on the server. If you need to access it, you must first disconnect one active user. So, how do we avoid this limitation? To do this, we need to install Windows Remote Desktop Services on GTO Server 1. Logging to GTO Server 1. Go to Server Manager and click on Manager. Select Add Roles and Features and click Next. Choose Role-Based or Feature-Based Installation and click Next. Select a server from the server pool and click Next. Tick the checkbox for Remote Desktop Services and click Next. Click Next on the Feature Selection Interface. Now, you need to select the role services according to your requirement. All role services come with clear descriptions. In this lab session, I will not use Remote Desktop Virtualization Host or Remote Desktop Web Access Services. Select Other Services and then click Next to continue. Click Next on the Network Policy and Access Services page. Then click Next on the Web Service Role Interface without making any changes. On the Role Service page, click Next with the default settings. On the Confirmation Installation page, select the Restart the Server Automatically checkbox and click Install. Click Yes on the Roles and Features Wizard to start the installation. The server will automatically restart during the update. Please wait until the installation is complete. Now, you can see that the remote desktop licensing model is not configured. A warning indicates that this service will stop automatically in 119 days. The reason is that we need to apply a license for this service. To activate the remote desktop service, click on Remote Desktop Services on the left corner and click on Services. Right-click on the server name and click Road Licensing Manager. Expand all services, right-click on the server name, and select Activate Server. Read the welcome wizard and click Next. Select the connection method. I will choose the recommended option for this. Please note, if you use this option, the server needs internet access. Click Next. Insert your company information. Then click Next to continue. Now, you can install a license if available, or use a free trial period without a license. In this lab, I am not installing any license, so I will uncheck Start Install License Wizard, and click Finish. If you have a license and need to install it, I will upload a separate video for that. Now everything is completed, and you can use Remote Desktop Services for the next 119 days without any issues. Next, I will try to get an RDP session using three separate users concurrently. Currently, the administrator user is in an active state, and I am waiting to log in user 1 via remote desktop service. Now, two users are active. Then, I will try to get an RDP session using user 2 from the management server. As you can see, I can access GTO Server 1 using User 2 without any issues. 
I will check the active users, and you can see there are three active users logged into the server. Please note that I am currently using remote desktop services without a license, and this service will stop after 119 days. You have unlimited access during this evaluation period. After applying the license, the concurrent login count will depend on your license. Thank you for watching.